for the folks in Texas. Here we go, speaking directly to you about the Central Texas Lakes, Canyon Lake, Medina Lake, Lake Travis, Lake Corpus Christi, and Choke Canyon, and what's happening with them in 2025. These lakes have been vital to our lives here, haven't they? They're more than just scenery, they're lifelines. Canyon Lake up near New Braunfels gives us water for drinking, irrigation, and recreation. Think boating, fishing, that peaceful tubing on the Guadalupe River. Medina Lake, west of San Antonio, has been a backbone for farmers, especially with irrigation, and it's a spot for weekend getaways. Lake Travis, close to Austin, isn't just stunning. It's a huge part of our water supply and a hub for tourism and fun. Down south, Lake Corpus Christi and Choke Canyon supply Corpus Christi, supporting homes, businesses, and wildlife. These lakes have driven our economy, supported our communities, and given us a quality of life we've come to rely on. But here's the tough part, folks. Right now, in June 2025, we're facing some of the lowest lake levels on record because of this brutal drought. Canyon Lake's at just 45.4% full, according to recent data. Medina Lake, it's hit its lowest level ever, even lower than in 2014, sitting at a shocking 2.4% full. Lake Travis has seen levels drop, exposing hidden pecan groves and structures. And it's not alone. Lake Corpus Christi's at 18.4% full, and Choke Canyon's struggling too, with inflows some of the lowest ever recorded. This isn't just a dry spell, it's a crisis that's been building, with South Central Texas in drought conditions for over 1,280 days. Let's talk about what's driving this. First, the drought itself. Multiple years of below average rainfall, especially the last five, with 2025 marking the sixth year. The U.S. Drought Monitor shows severe to extreme conditions in places like Hayes County, and predictions say it'll stick around for months. But it's not just the sky letting us down. The Edwards Aquifer, which feeds water to Barton Springs, the Kamal and San Marcos Rivers, and even influences some of these lakes, is at near historic lows. In May 2025, it hit levels not seen since the 1950s, the worst drought in Texas history, prompting stage five restrictions, the strictest ever, from the Edwards Aquifer Authority. That affects counties like Bear, Kamal, Hayes, and more, limiting how much water cities like San Antonio, Kyle, and San Marcos can pull. Then there's the development factor, our population's booming. San Antonio's jumped from 1.3 million in 2010 to over 1.53 million in 2025. More people mean more demand for water, more houses, more roads, and yes, more strain on resources like the Edwards Aquifer and these lakes. Development near recharge zones, like around the hill country where the Frio River crosses, means less water seeping back into the system. And for Corpus Christi, their water rights don't even include storage in the Highland Lakes, just the run of river flow, which is sparse right now, and the Lavaca Navidad River Authority cut their allocation from Lake Texana starting this year. So what does this mean for us? Low lake levels aren't just a bummer for boaters, they're a threat. Farmers relying on Medina Lake can't irrigate as much, which hits our food supply and their livelihoods. Tourism takes a hit too. Slower river flows mean less tubing, less fishing, less of that economic boost. In Corpus Christi, there's talk of running out of water by spring 2027 if things don't change. And ecologically, species dependent on these lakes and springs like those in the Kamal River, are at risk if flows stop, which could happen if the Edwards Aquifer drops to 625 feet. We're seeing visible signs of the crisis, hidden buildings, bridges, and roads popping up as water recedes, like at Lake Corpus Christi and Lake Travis. It's a stark reminder of how bad it's gotten. The good news? History shows some lakes, like Canyon Lake, can rebound fast with a big rain, but we can't count on that. Right now, stage three and five restrictions are in place, burn bans are up, and we all need to conserve. Water our lawns less, fix leaks, maybe rethink how we use water daily. Posts on X show folks sharing drone footage of these low levels, and local news is buzzing about the need for action. This isn't just about today, it's about our future. If we don't address the drought, the development pressure, and protect our aquifers and lakes, we risk losing what makes Texas special. The Edwards Aquifer, Canyon Lake, Medina, Corpus Christi, Choke Canyon, they're not just water buddies. They're our history, our economy, our way of life. Let's stay informed, stay cautious, and push for sustainable solutions. We can turn this around, but it starts with all of us. That's the update for June 2025. Stay strong, Texas. Whew, that was a lot, but you've got the facts.